as I'm using Dex to work from home, obviously I need to somehow link my company OneDrive account to my Dex. And I tried a lot of apps and I stuck with one, which I would like to show it to you in this video. During the first two or three weeks of using only Dex working from home, I tested a lot of apps that allows me to sync my OneDrive files with the with my obviously Dex setup with my Galaxy Tab S6. I tried SyncThing app, I tried a good sync Windows uh, server. Basically, good sync is you you're running the host file host program on the Windows machine and then client on your Android side, and then it makes a connection and it syncs, but you need to make sure that the Windows machine is always on, but I couldn't keep my Office PC always running. And so that wasn't an option for me. And I stuck with, well, at the beginning I was using one app, but then suddenly it starts playing up and I contacted the developer. Developer basically tried to uh, help me out in this situation. Um, then we, between a couple of emails back and forward, we agreed to use his um, other app. Uh, basically, I'll explain to you. It's a bit messy, but I'll explain to you. So if I go to a uh, store, to Google Play Store, and I search for OneDrive Sync. So, okay, the window is too small. Let's go this way. So OneDrive Sync. I was using this. I was using this app in the, originally at the beginning. Auto Sync uh, for OneDrive was working perfectly, but then um, Microsoft, I do believe Microsoft changed the way the API connections and changed the way it's all syncing. And by the way, the auto sync was working perfectly. It was just after Microsoft done the, whatever they've done it, the connection broke and I couldn't log in to the business account. I was able to log in and sync my personal OneDrive, but going to Office 365 OneDrive account, I wasn't able to do that. So like I said, after a couple of emails between me and the developer, by the way, the developer is brilliant. He was responding quickly, no messing around. And uh, it felt like he wants to help me. And we both try to get this resolved ASAP. So um, that was working perfectly. Uh, but then he suggested to use his other app, which is called AutoSync. So as you can see here, AutoSync. Um, by the way, before I jump in and telling you about all this, OneDrive, um, to sync OneDrive uh, is chargeable. The one, the, um, this, this app uh, is not free. Uh, to use uh, OneDrive full potential to sync, I had to pay, I think I paid nine pounds to use this at the full potential. So I, I don't mind, I paid it and it was working perfectly. Like I said, it worked perfectly, but then like it broke and I sent an email. Anyway, I got it working by using the AutoSync app, another app by developer. And because I bought the AutoSync app and my license can be transferred, but because I have AutoSync for OneDrive installed on my DeX, same time as AutoSync, Universal Cloud Sync and Backup app, they both talk to each other and that's how it's making work. By the way, I can see there is an update. I don't really going to run any updates because I'm recording this video, but um, I'll do after I've done it. So let's open up a OneSync app. Before I actually open this app, I would like to let you know that's going to be a lot of me trying to cover screen and certain parts of the screen because I don't want to share the information with this app. I already have everything set up, but I'm going to try to cover and not um, show you basically which files and which locations I'm syncing with my um, my work Office 365 OneDrive account. So just bear with me. So once I opened, as soon as I opened, uh, it's already start scanning because it does the auto scanning in the background anyway, but when you reactivate the app, it's gonna force rescanning and it's gonna check all the folders I got set up. And it does the, all this uh, sync. Um, I can't show you what it's doing here, but basically, um, it just gives me a history, uh, a step-by-step, -step, which file got synced when. So from where to where, at what time the file was synced. And the yellow line uh, represents skipped files. The gray, yellow color represents the skipped lines. The grayish color represents it's downloaded or uploaded. And the red, this means problem, the file cannot be um, downloaded, uploaded because of 
XYZ. And to be honest, the file that cannot be then loaded or uploaded doesn't really bother me. I, I, I don't mind that's being uh, skipped. And under sync folders, that's where you set up your syncing. At the moment, I have three set up. I have one of the projects uh, getting synced between my DEX and the OneDrive. I have my uh, folder, work folder, calling work folder. That's where I keep all the files that is not related to any project, just downloads, uploads and messing around. But still, I want to make sure that they're backed up in the OneDrive I'm using this. And the last one is basically my personal OneDrive. I'm just uploading there. Let's say I've scanned the, I don't know, electricity bill or something. I just uploading there. Yes, I can use the Google Drive, but I'm using a OneDrive. So I thought I'm going to set everything up and um, they all have a switches so you can turn on and off each one of them. So let's say, for example, you don't want to sync one of them, but you want to carry on syncing others. You can obviously switch and there is obviously a master switch, which you press it and all the auto syncs will be turned off. Uh, first, let's go into settings and then I will show you how to set one up. Settings, uh, I left pretty much by default, whatever was by default, I left it, not changed anything. Apart of under synchronization, I left, uh, I made this um, uh, try again automatically, only for automatic. I left that uh, on, uh, enable auto sync and auto sync intervals are left at five minutes. Uh, five minutes is the lowest number you can pick. I wish to be one minute, but to be honest, five minutes is fine. It's not like I'm updating files every day and then, but actually no, five minutes, five minutes is fine. An instant upload, I do believe that was unticked by default. So I made a tick. That means as soon as I save the file or something, the app detects and uploads. And if it fails to detect, there is five minutes interval. That's where I think the one or two minutes interval will be useful for me to select. But so far, not one single file has got corrupted or missed, or I forgot or is disappeared. Everything is syncing perfectly. So like I said, from, from the um, setup or from my settings, I pretty much left everything um, and take another thing, only while the device is charging, I take that one because my, my Galaxy tablet is now connected and is getting power through a USB Type-C port. So battery doesn't really care if it's running out of battery or not because it's always charging. So that's why I left it as always to do syncing while it's charging. And when I'm not using the tablet as a DeX, but as a tablet walking around the house or reading or watching Netflix or something, I don't want this syncing to happen. By the way, I'm watching Netflix and reading newspapers after I finished work. So when the work is finished, I just unplug the tablet and the syncing stops and it's gonna carry on, um, carry on syncing when I start next day. And I tend not to do a big file changes or anything about half an hour to 45 minutes before my end of the work day just give enough time for all the files to be updated and synced and etc. So uh, cloud storages, if I click on that, at the moment I have two selected and you can obviously click on there and add another one. Adding the cloud uh, storage is quite easy. You click and add the storage and it's gonna give you a bunch of them to select from. I chose OneDrive. If I wanna do a one, uh, Google Drive, I can do that, but I think it's gonna be chargeable because each one of them uh, like an extra tier that you need to do in a purchase. There is no price for the, all them all, but fine. Uh, OneDrive is fine for me. I might do Google Drive in the future. I don't know, but so when you click on that and you click add a OneDrive, it's gonna pop up with a Win Microsoft login screen. That's where you need to create your, you enter your credentials and then it connects to your Office 365 or your personal, personal OneDrive account. And that's when you can start uh, start uploading or downloading files. This app allows you to do a syncing between the SD card as well, send the files to SD card. I, at the start, I had this to sync files to SD card, but then the Excel and the Microsoft Word start playing up. They didn't want to open a file from SD card, etc. So I left it to sync with my internal storage. But yes, this allows you to, um, to sync to the um, SD card. So if I click plus sign right now in this uh, synced folders window, and I need to give the, uh, the folder a name. So I'm gonna call it this uh, test sync uh, remote cloud. So right now it opens and it's right now giving me a choice to use my personal or my work account. I'm gonna use personal, I'm gonna go in my files. <clears throat> There's a bunch of files that I created. Let's create, let's create a folder, call it test uh, 001. So I'm creating a folder 
inside the OneDrive. By the way, what I'm doing is going to be the same with Office 365 OneDrive account. So I selected that anything that's inside my personal OneDrive inside the folder test 001, one, I would like this to be synced with internal external storage. I'm going to do a SD card. I'm going to go downloads. I'm going to create a folder inside the downloads. I'm going to call the folder the same name. So it's going to be a SD card downloads folder test 001. Click that. And now how I want to sync. Do you want to sync two ways? I always upload, upload and delete, upload mirror, download, etc. There's a lot of them. I left it to be two-way sync. So whatever I do on, on the decks, sync to OneDrive and whatever I'm going to do on a OneDrive on another device, eventually will be synced to my decks. So that's how I'm leaving. And use the default syncs options. That's basically that options that I showed you uh, just a couple of seconds ago where sync only on charging, sync every five minutes, do this, do that. I just leave this by default. But if you untick that, we can go in more details and make sure it's only syncs on a specific Wi-Fi or on the uploads and downloads at certain speed. I'm just leaving this as the um, as this uh, default and everything else. Let's leave by default. I uh, obviously can exclude subfolders, delete them to folders, etc. I'm just leaving this as it is. So I click save. So right now I do have this saved on my decks. So next thing, I'm going to open OneDrive. Um, the OneDrive built in the uh, well, OneDrive Android app. And I will make sure that I am inside the test 001. So here we go. I am in the OneDrive on that folder. I open the my, uh, Samsung files and inside here, here you go. So what you see right now, on the left is the OneDrive. In the middle is Samsung Internet, Samsung files. So if I'll create a folder, let's say in here. So I'll create a folder. Let's say create a folder. Call it Upload Test. Click OK. So this is created. And if I open the the the, the scanning, I'm going to go into status. At the moment, there's nothing happening. I'm actually still still scanning my work file. So it's and it's the way the way syncing is syncing from the top down. So whatever the first one is, is going to sync my test, then that, then that, then that. So mine's basically at the end. So I can click, I can click and say that I want this to be prioritized. So I'm going to say sync. So right now it's going to jump straight away in this first test folder that I created for me to sync. So examining and bingo, as you can see, upload test been here uh, updated so if i click back this is the file folder and this is a folder so i misspelled upload okay that's a good test so i'm going to say i want this to be renamed i want to say upload test with a space in between i'm going to say yes um, i'm going to stop scanning rest of the folders and i'm going to scan again starting from the first first um first folder pair in the synced folders tab and this is uploading and processing so it's found that this it's found something so okay is it done uh, let me check here we go upload test has been uh, spelled correctly i think upload yes and the test is marked between and it is fine the speed of the sync is enough for send files uh, if you're going to send a gigabyte or something data, then it feels a bit slow. But sending the board Excel, just documents, etc., is where is more than perfect for you to, to use. So thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.